In today's video, I'm going to give you all the information you need to know to shiny hunt mass outbreaks most effectively in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, mass outbreaks will appear around the Paldea region no matter where you are in your playthrough. They will be identifiable by the sprites that appear around your map, or if you haven't got the Pokemon register in your Pokedex, they'll appear as a little question mark. These will change every single day. When your switch clock ticks over to the next day, hits midnight, these sprites will change different locations and to different Pokemon, meaning that you're going to have different outbreaks in different areas. Now, the basic premise of these mass outbreaks Outbreaks is in the name of mass outbreaks. You are going to go to these areas, whatever the sprite indicates on the map will mean that there will be a lot more of these Pokemon appearing in this select area than there normally are. And when you go here and you knock these Pokemon out or catch them, then more will spawn in until the outbreak finishes. This means that you're going to have a much higher increased chance to get a shiny spawning from these specific outbreaks. The base shiny rates of going to a mass outbreak without any shiny boost enhancers is going to be 1 in 4096 chance of a shiny spawning. You can increase these odds significantly even if you're not on your post game by knocking out 30 of these Pokemon. Once you've knocked out 30 Pokemon and this can be done with the auto battle feature, your odds for a shiny appearing will reduce significantly to 1 in 2048. And once you clear another 30 meaning 60 Pokemon are cleared in total through the auto battle feature or just battling feature but that would take a lot longer your odds will then cap out at 1 in 1365 so they are the maximum odds that you're going to be able to achieve if you're not in the post game now if you are in the post game and you have access to five star raids and you have access to herba mystica so you can make specific sandwiches that give you a sparkling power boost your odds after you've beat 60 Pokemon will change to 1 in 683. Now, the only extra enhancing boost that you'll be able to add on to this is by completing your Pokedex and getting the Shiny Charm, which would give you the best odds possible once you've beat 60 Pokemon, you've got a Sparkling Power Level 3 activated with a Sandwich through using Herba Mystica, and you've got the Shiny Charm. Your odds for a Shiny appearing from this outbreak will be 1 in 512. So that is the lowest odds that you're gonna get for a shiny appearing in a mass outbreak. But like I say, even if you're not in the post game, you still can utilize this method to reduce those odds and have a very good chance of getting a shiny pretty easily in these games. So when you're on your map, you can identify where these outbreaks are. You can see the sprites here. Like I say, sometimes they will appear as question marks, but most of the time they will appear as sprites because they'll be registered in your Pokedex. Now, if you go through your map and you think, there aren't really any Pokemon here that I want to hunt. I would advise probably not hunting things on the water. It does make it a lot harder and you can't set your picnics up, which is something we'll get into and makes this whole method a lot easier. So if you're like me and you've got nothing on your map, one option you can do is just hit your home menu. Come down to your date and time and then you can just come to system down to date and time. Make sure your clock is off via the internet and then come to your date move the date forward one day and then just click OK, hit your home menu, come back into game and you'll get these messages popping up. There are mass outbreaks occurring, which will indicate that the mass outbreaks that were there before have changed. And if we go back onto our map again, we can see that the dens have changed, all the terror raid dens have moved around and we've got new mass outbreaks. So we've got a ghastly there and in particularly nothing that I would like to hunt again. So we can just repeat this method once again. So we've got the new Pokemon Todd School here. Um, and I think because I haven't got this as a shiny, I would probably like to go after this one. So once you're at your location, you can see here in the grassy area, we've got a bunch of Todd School just popping up right in front of us. So what we want to do is just come over to them. The first thing we want to do is just beat the 60 Pokemon. They're going to be a bit skittish, so it might take a little bit of time to beat them, but you want to just send your Pokemon out and beat 60. It's good to just keep a count one by the, the things that pop up and you'll be able to see everything that does pop up on your screen when you have beat them. So you can see one, two, three. This is the third one that we're going to be beating here. And you want to just repeat this until you have beat 60 of these Pokemon. I think we've got the shiny. We've got the shiny already and we've just complete our 60th. So there is the shiny. 
There it is. Okay, well, I mean, we did this without needing to do anything else, really. We got the shiny pretty early on as we beat the 60th. Uh, I was just coming back to show you an example how they keep spawning in when you knock them out. But we've increased the odds so much, we got the shiny straight away. So that is a good example of just completing the 60 and then getting the increased chances without any sort of multipliers on. I do have the shiny charm, so that does make a difference. But you want to just knock them out auto battle. They'll keep spawning in and then you can get the shiny. So there is our first shiny of this guide. So since we've got the shiny here, we'll change this. We'll do another example. We'll get, we'll get another outbreak going. Okay, we've got a Nackley outbreak here, which is pretty cool. I haven't got one of these shinies yet. So we'll head to this area and we will do the outbreak shiny method for Nackley. Right, what we need to do first is knock out 60 of these. So what we want to do once we've got the 60 knocked out is put down a save right here and just make sure that your auto saves are off as well. So you've dropped your save. You are safe in the knowledge now that this outbreak of the Nackley or whatever Pokemon you're hunting will be active until the clock on your switch, which we can go and check and you can go and check to see how much time you've got it until this clock reaches midnight. So we've got like 10 and a half hours, 11 hours roughly for this outbreak to last in our game. We can go anywhere else in the region. We can do other things and then come back to this if we want. This outbreak is going to stay here with the 60 knocked out until that midnight hits. As soon as midnight hits, this mass outbreak will disappear and a new one will spawn somewhere else. So you will lose it. So just be conscious if you are doing this, then this is the time that you've got to take advantage of this outbreak. Now you've got your save set up. If you haven't got five star raids or access to Herba Mystica, you're not gonna be able to do this next bit, but you will still have the increased odds of one in 1,365. So you've increased your odds even early on in your playthrough. But those of you that have access to Herba Mystica, the next step what you can do is you can make a sandwich. But firstly, you probably want to set up a good picnic area where you can kind of spot all of these outbreaks without having to pan around your camera too much. And it's kind of difficult for us to do here because they're spawning in a kind of a spread out area. Sometimes you get an outbreak where they're in one direct area so you can just set your picnic up here and then you're gonna be able to see the Pokemon spawning back in. This looks like we're gonna to have to pan our camera each time we set a picnic up to check each new spawn because every time we set a picnic up, it will despawn the Pokemon in the area. And when we come out of the picnic, new ones will spawn in. And every time you do that, you're gonna respawn a new batch of Pokemon. They're all gonna have that increased shiny odd chance. So the way that you get a shiny is by going into picnics and leaving picnics and despawning and respawning these Pokemon in the mass outbreak, which means shiny hunting is pretty straightforward. But to increase our odds slightly further, we can use a sandwich recipe. So the next thing we're going to want to do is create a sandwich and we're going to want to collect some ingredients. These can be bought from a selection of different delis, the artisan bakery, sure cans around the region. You're going to need the base ingredients in a lot of them, which is tomatoes, onions, green peppers and hamburgers. Now, one of the best places that I think is La Vincia Town because it's got a bunch of different places that you can get everything that you're gonna need. Uh, the Artisan Bakery and the Deli is the first places that we'll go and visit, but you're gonna be able to buy most things here. Delis are great because they sell a bunch of different things that we're gonna need. So the Deli is gonna sell the hamburgers, the smoked fillets, the green peppers that you're gonna need most of the ingredients and then you're going to get the artisan bakery which is right next door to it and that will sell pretty much everything else that you're going to need for your sandwiches like your lettuce your onion as well is going to be a really important one and always make sure that you're stocked up on plenty of picks if you need the other ingredients you're going to have something like sure cans which can be found in it pretty much most of the towns. You've got the Equesta supermarket where you can get things like tofu and then the rest of the ingredients can be got from Shurkan. So like I say, you should be pretty familiar if you've been making sandwiches with where you can pick up the ingredients for these, 
but that these are the four primary places that you're going to be visiting in the different cities around the Paldea region to pick up the ingredients for your sandwich. So once you've got your sandwich ingredients sorted, you want to just come back down to where your outbreak is located. Okay, once you've got the picnic set up, basics of a picnic are as soon as you set one up, it's going to despawn all of those Pokemon that were spawned in. And when you take down your picnic, new spawns are going to come in place of those. So we want to get this right the first time. We want to come to make a sandwich. And as I say, we'll be using the new sandwich list that was put up by Papa Hefe. And we come to creative mode and we want to just go off the recipe. So one tomato, one onion, one green pepper and one hamburger. And then we're going to need to decide on what type we're going for. Nakli is a rock type, so we want bacon, which is the type for rock types. We want two sides, two servings of this for the type. And then you can add any two Herba Mystica to this. And for this, I guess we'll use one sweet and we'll use one spicy because we've got more of them than anything else. And then we want to just pop a pick in it and then start creating the sandwich. I always feel like it's best to start off with the chunky objects. Like we've got a bunch of tomatoes here, so the tomatoes are very chunky. So as long as you're dropping them on the bread though, you know, you, if it falls off, it doesn't mark your star rating down. As long as you're getting it on the bread to begin with, you're kind of fine. So we'll drop our big slabs of bacon on and your sandwich is done. A tasty Osiris original. And then you can see we've got that sparkling power rock the title power rock and the encounter power rock. This will run for 30 minutes. So that's what we've got. We want to take our picnic down. Yes. And then we're going to see new spawns coming in for these Nackley. And what we want to be doing is keeping an eye to see if any of these are shiny. So none of these are shiny so far. So the thing is with these, I think with other Pokemon that are a bit bigger, you'll, you've probably got a little bit more room to just set the picnic up and then despawn it, check the Pokemon, and then set another one up. Because that's all we're going to do now is set another picnic up. None of these are shiny, but I'm probably going to take a little bit more time to have to go and check these Pokemon every time because they're so small, so I don't miss the shiny. So it might be a bit time con more time consuming for certain Pokemon that you do, depending on the size of them, how easy they are to identify with their shiny form. But this essentially is all you're going to do. Like I say, if you've got bigger Pokemon, you're going to be able to just spot the shiny a lot easier. With these, it might be a little trickier. And also because we're on sand as well. So the, the, the coloration here is not making it super easy for us to identify if a shiny is amongst the new spawned Pokemon in. But like I say, you're just going to want to repeat this process. You're going to have 30 minutes from setting that sandwich up and you know you've saved as well. So if you don't get the shiny within that 30 minutes, just reset your game, come back to it, start again, and you can repeat the process until you do get the shiny. And this is the method. You just need to set picnic up and exit it and you're going to get new spawns every time it's a bit annoying that we can't we have to pan our camera around because they're in such a spread out area and the fact that we're going to have to go and kind of check each one almost every time that does make it a little bit more time consuming but again it's not really that difficult right like i don't really mind having to do that it's not a massive task to do it's not taking us too long it would just be sped up if we had bigger Pokemon that were more obviously a shiny, easier to spot. We can just stay in this one area, set down a picnic, look out to this area. We'll see the new Nakli or whatever Pokemon spawning in and we'll be able to spot a shiny pretty easily. So we're just having to just take a little extra step, whereas you might not have to. And you can always keep an eye on how long you've got left on your sandwich bar by hitting the right direction on your D-pad. You'll get this menu up. It'll show you the sparkling power and the other powers that you've got active and how long you've got left on it as well. And if you're on the water, just to be aware, like we covered in our original shiny hunting guide for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, if you are on the water, the only way you're going to be able to do this is by leaving the area and then coming back to it, which is something you can do. If you don't want to set your picnic up each time, you want to just leave the area and then come back into this 
area, then that will despawn and respawn the Pokemon in the outbreak as well. And we finally got the shiny Nackley. As you can see here, it has popped up after we've just despawned that picnic and we can go and encounter it and capture it. So uh, we've got about eight minutes left on our sparkling pass. So that has last that has taken us around 20 minutes to get the shiny. So not too long at all. We'll try and get it in a Premier Ball, one of my favorite balls. And uh, hopefully we can catch this. And this has been a successful hunt. So we've had the sparkling part active with the shiny charm stacked on top of that. So we've got a one in 512 chance of a shiny spawning so we have had the higher odds we have been successful in this hunt but again if you haven't got access to herba mystica and you've only got the increased chances of knocking out those 60 pokemon then you are still going to have good odds of a shiny pokemon appearing of one in 1365 obviously with the sparkling power stacked on top of that then you will have increased odds and if you're unsuccessful at the end of the hunt and your sparkling power runs out then you can just reset your game and start again you're not losing any of the resources because you've dropped that hard save at the beginning so you can come back in start again and try the process again and this is one of the easiest methods to do in the entire game you're going to have access to it from very early on in your playthrough and come and be able to just knock out 60 pokemon drop that hard save and then do the picnic technique to either despawn and respawn or just leave the area and then try and just get as many of these respawning and despawning as possible till your clock ticks over to midnight after that of course new spawns will be available around your area so i hope you found this guide useful friends it is a bit more of an in-depth one on mass outbreaks good luck shiny hunting with this just remember the odds that we've covered in the video you're going to have depending on where you are in your playthrough if you're early on like we've said you're still going to have access to increase the shiny odds of pokemon appearing by knocking out 60 pokemon but if you're further into your game and you've got Herba Mystica and even if you've got the shiny charm you're going to get that increased odds for getting shinies appearing more often in your game with these techniques. I hope you have a lot of success shiny hunt and let me know down in the comment section below what your best mass outbreak shiny has been. I'm super happy that we managed to get two in today's guide showing you both the increased chances of just knocking out 60 Pokemon and then with the increased chances with that sparkling power that you can set up through sandwiches and using Herba Mystica. If you have found the video useful please drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye